Welcome to Coastal 101, I'm John Kelly. Today we're going to build one of the most critical pieces of the fence, the fence corner. Done right, a sturdy fence corner will maintain wire tension. Let's get started. Things you'll need for a job like this include three eight-foot pressure-treated posts. Make sure they have a diameter of at least six inches. Two smaller eight-foot posts to be used to make your H-brace. An inline ratcheting strainer to help distribute the load from the top of the uprights to the base of the corner near the ground, as well as brace pins to hold the horizontal post in place and a post hole digger, whether that's a tractor attachment or a tool that gives you a workout. To get started, we've already dug three holes. Each one is 30 inches deep. The installers are making sure the corner post is plumb using a strap-on post plumb. The next two holes should be less than eight feet away from the corner along the fence line. Both should be set at the same depth. Now they'll set the brace pins by making a mark on the upright post, about 12 inches from the top of the post. They're drilling a horizontal hole to receive the pin that will face back toward the corner post, then repeating the process on the corner post with pins pointing towards each of the uprights. We're cutting the H braces to fit between the corner post and each of the uprights. They're drilling a hole in the center of the back ends or tops to receive the brace pins. They'll get those in place by leaning the upright post back a bit and then pushing them back into place. They're just about ready to tie it all together. With the posts in place, we use the inline strainer and some 10 gauge wire to make it a solid corner. The crew is now adding some fencing staples on the upright on the face opposite the corner and to the bottom portion of the corner post. Now they're running their straining wire in a figure eight across both posts using the staples. Be sure to leave about eight inches of overlap. Feed the loose end of your wire through the base of the inline ratcheting strainer. Fold the wire over and slide the open part of the crimp over the loose end of the wire. Once the strainer is secured, the guys are feeding those loose ends of the straining wire through the openings on the spool of the inline ratcheting strainer. They then bend the wire over, cut off the excess, and use the handle on the ratchet to tighten everything up. Your Northwest owned and operated Coastal has fencing specialists on hand for all your fence related questions. You'll also find all the tools, posts, wire, and more to get the job done right. We'll be here when you're ready. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.